So the question was specifically, uh, what is the place for Fiori's uh, sword in one hand within the, within the entire system? Okay, what place does the sword in one hand have within the entire system? In general terms, how I spar, how I move, um, you know, I am completely changing this thing around all the time. I will drop into one-handed posture, I'll wait for the big cut. You have one or two-handed for my opponent. I'll drop two hands back on it. I will move this thing around using all the principles that I'm given, using all the principles that I'm given from the system. Hi, I'm Bucky with the Excels. Hope you're safe and well. So I just wanted to do this video just to answer a quick question that I've had, um, which I think might be useful to other people. So uh, another YouTuber has uh, done a video on using a, a long sword or a hand and a half sword or a bastard sword um, with one and two hands. I haven't seen that video, but the, that video drove this question to me. So the question was specifically, uh, what is the place for Fiori's uh, sword in one hand within the, within the entire system? Okay, what place does the sword in one hand have? within the entire system. This is literally a topic I could talk about all day so I'm going to try and just give some salient points and if yeah, there's more questions or we need to go into more detail we can do other videos on that. So um, regular viewers of the channel of which there are not many but regular viewers of the channel will know that we or I refer to this as just a tool. I was basically born with one of these in my hand yeah I'm, I'm, I'm 35 years old I've used a sword like this basically as I've grown up okay so to me it is literally just a Swiss army knife okay I will use it however I need to use it and Fury gives me most of the tools I need to do that okay he gives me the tools to use it with one hand on it it gives me the tools to use it with two hands on it it shows me about half sorting really importantly was when we look at the system in its entirety is how it all fits together the sword in one hand that we see the spider unamano that we see is not a standalone system it cannot be a standalone system because it's not big enough okay all you need to do is look at similar systems with a weapon use in one hand and you start to find some really obvious holes in the technical application and the plays of Fury's one-handed okay there's a reason for that a very important reason sword in one hand within the context of Fury is designed to accommodate and to fit in with general sword use okay it's not designed to just be exclusively I'm going to use a sword in one hand for this whole fight okay it's there to give me the principles that I need to use the sword as a tool, which is why I say a sword is just a tool. The aeroplane. So, uh, yes, so it's, you know, the whole point of it is, and we, most people agree, us included, that what we're looking at is a long sword being used in multiple different ways. So when we look at the sword in one hand, we are saying it's, it's effectively a long sword, or it's a weapon that you can use very easily with two hands, with one hand, half sword in and so on and so forth okay there are some fringe debates uh, around the actual weapon types but I think most people agree that it is just a long sword that's used in different ways okay it's, it's, it's a multi-tool as I say so uh, so let's just talk give this a bit of meat on the bones as I, I don't, I don't want to be too exhaustive because uh, this could turn into a very long video we have a one-handed sword poster okay that poster has a place okay it's it's a situational place okay i can stand in it and i can wait for my opponent to do something now what we see in all of the plays is the other person just has the one hand on the sword as well that doesn't really matter there are plenty of plays in the sword in one hand that work if they have two hands on it okay so first of all let's just get rid of that idea that it's always one hand versus one hand it's not from this posture, we have lots of actions. Some of it we have to take from the rest of the system, some of it are in the section. So for example, covering, beating, breaking of the thrust, those key principal actions are in the sword in one hand. So we know we have those checked. The lines of attack, well, we're given all of those, it's just general sword lines of attack. So that's all checked, okay? But I'm here in this posture. I've got those actions and I've got the plays on the end of them, all right? But situationally, I could just as easily have come from a two-handed position okay and I'm going to give a couple of examples to give this a little bit of context so let's say I'm indented at Chingali let's say someone's just thrown a fendente from their right to my left shoulder there's nothing wrong with me coming offline performing a beating action and as I'm recovering into distance just dropping one hand back onto the weapon to give me a little bit of extra reach and make my recovery a little bit easier nothing wrong with that at all that 
also being the example, I could quite happily just do the beating action and let's say I haven't beat as successfully as I thought I had. Okay, so I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, cuts come in, I go up, I go down to make the attack back. Okay, let's say that my beat was rubbish, I got all my lines wrong or whatever, and I haven't displaced my opponent's weapon. Okay, and it's become a bit of a mess, they've managed to throw up a defence or whatever. This can unfold very, very quickly. Well, I've got two choices. I can recover back to a poster, and I'm probably only gonna go back to my left since my left foot is the one that's forward. It would be a bit clunky to come back on my right, but you know, it's possible. Um, I could recover, but my opponent might follow me. It could get unpredictable, and as I'm recovering, as I'm focused on moving out, they could be focused on trying to counter attack, okay? And that can happen very quickly. So my other option is to use the principles from sword in one hand. So I'm out here, I might not have hit anything, whatever, but what I can do is apply the seventh play of sword in one hand. Okay, I can make a gather forward, I can drop the sword like this, come in from behind them, and I can action that play. And I've just done a video on that play. Okay, let's play that out. Okay, off one beat up, cut back, I've hit nothing, I've thrown up a defense, recovery's too risky, turn the weapon, make a gather, come behind them, and basically slice their neck with my weapon. Okay, so that's an example of having a one-handed play on the end of a two-handed action. In general terms, how I spar, how I move, um, you know, I am completely changing this thing around all the time. I will drop into one-handed posture, I'll wait for the big cut. You have one or two-handed for my opponent. I'll drop two hands back on it. I will move this thing around using all the principles that I'm given, using all the principles that I'm given from the system. And I'm trying to give it context. So that's how I look at it. Um, it's, as I say, as a standalone section, it's not comprehensive enough to be, um, I'm just gonna use sword on one hand the whole time. It doesn't deal with enough options. There's not enough variation in the, my opponent's attacks. There's not enough variation in the angles that I'm dealing with from taking attacks from my opponent, sending in my own attacks, yeah? You can see, basically, it jigsaws together, okay? It's also the reason why at the end of sword in one hand section, Fury is basically showing you a half sword in play. He's always leaving you these little links into, hey, don't forget, this fits in with the wider system. And while I'm using the example of sword in one hand playing into sword in two hands, it's just as easy to say sword in one hand plays into half sorting. Sword in two hands plays into half sorting. It's one holistic system. So you're taking all of those principles and you're basically putting them together. So that's a non-exhaustive answer. And the answer to the question, in summary, <laughs> is the sword in one hand is designed to jigsaw into the rest of the system, okay? Um, and hopefully you, you sort of seeing those examples just shows a couple of ways that that's the case um, without being super exhaustive. So thanks for your question and hopefully that was useful. Let me know if not and uh, until the next one.